It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Amager Brewhouse and it's a bottle of their Paul the Packing Piano Player Bourbon Barrel Aged Rye Stout. Coming in at 8.7% ABV. I'd like to congratulate Amager Brewhouse on brewing beer for 10 years. This is their 10 year anniversary range of beers, uh, 2007 to 2017. And yeah, uh, Paul's Packing Paul's packing his package. Look at that, guys. He's happy with that, isn't he? There's the bottle cap. Thank you very much to Morton for sending me the beer. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass, then. Look at this for a tremendous, tremendous looking beer. My goodness. Oh, this is going to be one of those beers I can just tell. Amager, of course, from Denmark. Amager Brewhouse from Denmark. Massive, massive fan of their beers. And I'm a massive, massive fan of what I like to call a Scandinavian style Imperial Stout. And this looks just like one. I've not had one in a while, to be honest. This looks just like one. How I describe a Scandinavian style Imperial Stout or Imperial Porter is thick, deep, tan colored head, two to three fingers. Look at that, it just sticks and stays there. Jet black beer in the glass that looks like engine oil as you rock the beer back and forth. That looks terrific. And then the aroma, it should have been, it should be a bit tobacco smoky, maybe tarry, roasty, oh, vanilla and all sorts going on. Let's get that aroma, let's get in. The spicy rye is coming through quite a big way. Some chocolate and vanilla, but the real, real story of this beer is the roasted malt. Yes, the rye, the spicy rye, together with that roasted malt. Big, thick, tar, tobacco smoky aroma. Bitter coffee, bitter chocolate. Mixed with some vanilla and maybe a touch of cinnamon. Incredible, incredible aroma. Let's dive in. Thank you, Morton. me again I hit I did the Murph Hill the other day the Amaga Murph Hill this is it's like wow. the bitterness is extraordinary absolutely extraordinary roasted malt comes through in abundance Chocolate, coffee, caramel in abundance. Spicy rye in abundance. The beer is thick and dense and creamy. The bitterness has got to be about 100 IBUs in this rye stout. The spiciness from that rye is terrific, really terrific. It's a raw, raw, spicy rye imperial stout is what it is. Wow. Oh, and I'm going to tell you a very quick story, a very quick story, only because I feel like I have to. Um, 
Maybe a touch of whiskey as well coming through. Touch of alcohol maybe. Here's the very, very quick story and I promise it won't be long. Uh, back in Poland in 2013, I went to Poland. I had something bad off a garage forecourt. It was like a pizza that had sat there all day. Uh, it had meat on the top of it. And I felt terrible the next day. I was on the toilet all day. And I, I really wasn't that well. Couldn't eat, really couldn't drink until, until, and this is a very quick story, until somebody brought me out a, a, a Zivic Porter. I had a Zivic Porter in Poland. Um, uh, uh, it was a, uh, off the top of my head, a Zivic Porter is a Baltic Porter, that's the one. And it instantly, instantly soothed my stomach and I was able, I was able to carry on with my weekend. This beer has done exactly the same thing. Instantly, instantly. I've got a live feed going on in the background and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I, I never really in, uh, indulge too much in, in the background of the channel here on the channel. Perhaps I should a little bit more. Uh, I leave it to the Facebook page, um, to a little bit of a bird's eye view of what's going on. Uh, so I, this is my fourth beer of the night. I don't think I've ever mentioned this here on YouTube. This is my fourth beer of the night. Started off with a lager, moved on to a Belgian pale ale, then a, a, a Belgian strong ale at 9% ABV. But this morning, this very, this very morning, I took part in a um, Dante's Hell's Chili Challenge hot dog thing, just a mile away. The hottest, spiciest hot dog in the world and this thing had jalapeno and, 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 and ghost pepper and, and and all of the crazy stuff that goes on it was like a billion million schockle whatever it is on the on the Richter scale of chilies and um, off the top of my head I don't know all of this information I know that it was crazy hot it was in the millions of the Scotchville or whatever they call it anyway anyway started my live video Started the video, did a beer review, reviewed the lager, bang. I, I was feeling okay, I was feeling okay. Bang, I had to tell the guys on the live feed, I'll be back in five minutes, the beer, the lager that hit my stomach mixed, and I was feeling okay, I wasn't feeling too bad. Mixed with whatever was left in my stomach. I've been having stomach cramps from 10 o'clock in the morning till 4 p.m. I then had my tea from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. and I felt good, I thought, yeah, I'm going to do some beer reviews. I feel fine. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Halfway through the beer review of the lager, this particular lager, the beer cell lager from, from Belgium, uh, Three Fontaine. Halfway through, I'm thinking, ooh, and I could see myself in the, in the, in the light. I could see myself holding my stomach a little bit. I was thinking, ooh, what's the Subconsciously, you know, subconsciously. I wasn't even thinking about it, just holding my stomach. By the end of the beer review, I was in almost chronic, turn the video off, running to the to, to the to the bathroom. Sorry to be so crude with you guys. I did indeed finish the beer review, told the guys on the live feed that I am indeed running now to the toilet. I run to the toilet, do the business, come <laughs> come back down, review the two other beers. And at this stage, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, ooh, you know, this is, this is, this is not comfortable by any means. <sighs> Going back to the Poland story, remember what I said about eating something bad and the Baltic porter just settled, instantly settled everything down. Long story short, this beer has done exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. No pain, no stomach cramps. I feel settled and, and, and I think I'm gonna get a good night's sleep. I was telling the guys on the live feed, just 10 minutes ago, I'm gonna be having one of those nights where I'm gonna be rolling round in my bed all night long with this chili. I feel like that if I finish this beer, if I drink this beer and finish the beer, I'm gonna be okay. And and it has instantly settled my stomach. Sorry for the roundabout 
rather long beer review. I've given a lot of the flavours out. Some raisin, plum, fig, prune, vinous quality flavours. There's some vanilla. It's a very bitter beer. Um, chocolate coffee caramel. Tobacco smoke. Terrific. Absolutely terrific beer. Is there anything left in the bottle? No, I poured it all out into the into the bottle, uh, into the glass. So, I'm gonna rate it. I'd like to thank Amager Brew House and this Barrel A's Rice Stout, 8.7% ABV for settling my stomach. Thank you guys. What a great celebration, what a great anniversary um, of 10 years brewing. Let's rate it. I suppose if we're gonna round out this beer review, I'm gonna tell anyone out there, if they have any kind of jippy t stomach, any kind of jippy stomach, grab yourself a strong stout and it will sort you out. Rating. First of all, I wanna talk about the lacing, the look of the beer. Look as I rock the beer back and forth. Look at that terrific carbonation chasing that head of the glass. It's creamy, it's dense, it's thick, it's like engine oil. Love the head, love the aroma. Fantastic, fantastic taste. I'm gonna give it, this is slightly biased because it's healed my stomach. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. It's a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.